Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. Uh, today's episode, um, gearing up for the Ohio gun opener, which is tomorrow, Monday morning. Just loading the four-wheeler up, getting everything ready. I'm heading to a friend's house down the road for opening morning instead of my property. Um, we'll see how it goes. We just returned from a long trip, long weekend at Capper Outdoors over the Thanksgiving weekend and absolutely had a blast. Um, but I thought I'd do an intro here quick because I don't know how much time I'm going to have in the morning uh, to get something like this up. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to take a camera with me to be honest. We'll see. But I am pretty excited about uh, the Ohio gun opener and uh, maybe I'll have some luck. opening day of gun season here in Northwest Ohio. Been out here for about an hour now. Haven't seen anything yet. So now I'm on my property. I'm out back on one of my box blinds. This morning for Ohio gun opener, I hunted a buddy of mine's place, uh, maybe 20 minutes from here, uh, about 20 minutes north. And, uh, opening day gun season, December 2nd. And uh, he's seen one little doe. I didn't see anything this morning. Um, I had a north north northeast wind blowing in my face all all morning been a little more exciting if i would have seen something but just nothing moving so again i'm back out in my uh one of my box blinds uh for the afternoon evening hunt see what we can do um i'm still not a <laughs> Limited to slug guns. I also started using straight wall cartridge rifles. I think it's 357 Magnum and up. And a couple years ago, I did uh, harvest a nice doe with a friend of mine's 4570. So I might look to get one of those down the road. But anyway, I just got out the blind here for the afternoon hunt and uh, thought I'd give you a quick update. Well, I just came in from Ohio's gun opener, first day, opening day. I hunted a buddy's uh, property this morning, and then this afternoon did a hunt on my property. And unfortunately, I didn't see anything. There was just nothing moving, at least at the spots we were at at the time we were there. 
Well, that's okay. Um, it's a seven day gun season and then two weeks after that we have a two day gun season. But what I'm really looking forward to is getting back out later in December with the crossbow when it's a little bit colder and there's snow on the ground. In all honesty, that's my favorite time to hunt. I've already put a doe in the freezer earlier this year, so I'm not hard pressed for meat yet. But anyway, I just thought I'd take you along with me on opening uh, firearm season for white-tailed deer in Ohio. And uh, maybe the next time I shoot one of these videos, I'll have a little bit better success. Oh, and before I forget, uh, just this past weekend, the wife and I visited Capper Outdoors. And uh, Mrs. Capper had recently put up a video on customizing an old antique uh, wood saw. It looked beautiful. I had an old one in the barn and I took it with me to ask if uh, she would do mine up as well. So behind me is the saw I took. And Joe decided he was going to work on it instead. He wanted to hook me up. And this is what Joe came up with. I mean, I know he was meaning well. His intentions were good. And Mrs. Capper insisted he not touch this. But he had to anyway. Thankfully, Mrs. Capper had another side to work with and did exactly what I wanted. Thanks, Mrs. Capper, for fixing Joe's mess up. Looks nice, don't it? So thanks for joining me here today on Shit Happens. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, maybe it's the Ohio Country Living Life Vlog 2. We'll see. But if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Share it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mm -hmm.